This is ASL vocabulary list 12, and we're going to learn six signs that are called directional signs. Some signs in ASL have a direction. They have to go somewhere. And the direction of these signs can change depending on who you're talking about. So I want you to remember the personal pronoun signs that we learned way a long time ago, very first signs we ever learned. That will help you with the directions of these signs. So remember the personal pronouns, I or me, you, one person, you, a bunch of people, he, she, us, they, remember? So if you remember those signs, that will help you a lot with these signs. So our first directional sign that we're going to learn is the sign for give. So you want to have O's and then you squish them a little bit. It's a squished O handshape. You want to point, after you have that handshape, you want to point all your fingers up. And then, depending on who's giving to whom, that's where it's going to move. So if I say, I give you, then I would do this. It starts from me, I give you. So it has all that information just in that one sign. You wouldn't, in ASL, you wouldn't have to sign, I give you you it's just because it goes from me to you if you want to say he gave me then it would be or she gave him or if i want to give it to all of you so that's the sign for give as a directional sign where it moves around a little bit. So we're gonna do the same thing with the rest of these five signs. They will move depending on who you're talking about. So the sign for tell is kind of like the sign for say that we learned last time, but it moves. So when you wanna say, he told me or I told them or something like that, you're gonna move it that way. So um, if I'm gonna tell you, if he told her, Or if he told us, or I tell you, I think I already did that. <laughs> so that's tell. And then help is similar, but with you want to, for the sign help, you want a flat handshape on your non-dominant hand with your palm facing up and the thumbs up on your dominant hand. And then this moves. So if I say, I help you, I start with me, I help you. If I want to help all of you, if he's going to help her, or if I say, please help me. Look at is also a directional sign. This has more to do. You can do it like he looked at me, she looked at her kind of thing, but you can also look at objects. So you want a two hand shape with, with um, your fingers pointing out away from you at whatever you're looking at. So to look at, you just move it to whatever you're looking at. So this represents two eyes, right? And then you're just gonna put them where, at whatever you're looking at. So if I'm looking at you, or if I'm looking at the floor, or if I'm looking at the ceiling, I will move it to whatever I'm looking at. So if I say, please look at me, I would say, because I'm pointing that to me, it comes to me, please look at me. Or I'm looking at all of you. The next sign is the sign ask. Now we learned before the sign ask, which was asking a favor or asking, you know, making a request, please this. I wanna ask you to please do something. This is ask a question. So if you say, Hmm, I want to ask you what the sign is for help. You're asking a question, you do it this way. So you start, actually, there's two ways to do it. You start with a one hand shape and then you bend it down to an X like that. And you point it at whoever's being asked. So if I ask you, it will go like this. If I want to ask all of you, I can actually use two hands and ask all of you. I want to ask, 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 ask all of you. If 
you ask me, if he asks me, then it goes that way. Um, oh, and then the other way of doing it is instead of just bending like that, ask, ask, you can, you can do more of like a little, you're like, you're drawing a little question mark in the air. You can do it that way. The directions would still be the same. Ask me, ask you. Um, but the movement is a little bit different. The last sign on this list of directional signs is the sign for, um, it kind of means to see, but it, it's more like it means to spot, to spot something. So I like to think of it as I spy. I see something, but it's like, it's kind of like if you can't find it. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, I see that. So that's why I, I think it's kind of like I spy. So um, the way that you sign this is you're going to start with an S hand shape with your palm. Well, it's not really down, but it's not really out either. I don't know. Kind of like this, I guess. And then you're going to point at whatever it is that you're spotting. So, oh, I see you. Like if you're in a whole big group of people and they say, oh, I found you. I see you. I spy you. Right. I spot you. There you are. Or if I'm looking for my phone. Oh, there it is. Or if I'm looking at the door over here, I spot the door. I spy the door. Okay. So that is a directional sign because it goes to whatever it is that you have spied, that you have spotted. All right. That's kind of a fun one. So those are our directional signs for vocabulary list 12.